Hi guys, in this video we are going to be looking at the fastest and the easiest method for frequency separation for our retouching in Adobe Photoshop. This is Twisted Creative. I'll already be my name. If it's your first time on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's get into it. So this is the image I'm going to be using. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful model. So we are going to be doing frequency separation now. So I'm going to start by using our Ctrl J three times to duplicate this image. We can rename the first one to be, let's say, details. We rename the second one to be colors. We are going to select these colors, then hold down our Ctrl, then click on the details to select both of them. Then use our Ctrl G to place them in a group. So we are going to click on this arrow to open the group. Then we're going to select the color, disable the detail. Then we'll go to filter, blur, then Gaussian blur. So we are going to start the blur radius from 0 0.1. We are going to be moving it until, let's take a point that we'll be looking at. We are going to be pushing it up till you get to a point whereby you will no longer see any detail here. Let's for this image, I think, I think 9.2, let's say, let's make it 10.0 and it's okay. The radius is okay by 10, then hit okay. Then we are going to select this detail layer, enable the detail layer, then go to image apply image then we are going to click on this layer on this drop down here then we are going to choose color for the channel is going to be rogb then for blending we are going to choose subtract then the opacity is going to be as 100 percent then for the scale to then offset one to eight then you click ok then we we'll go to blend mode and choose linear light so if you try to see the before and after you notice that if i disable this group you notice that nothing has happened to the image just like the same so now we are going to choose our color then disable the details but you can also leave the details on then with your lasso tool selected you change your feathering here from zero to let's say 20 pixels should be okay then hit okay why would this that is that whenever you select a particular area you will notice that the feathering will always come with it that is why we place the feathering here so we are going to be starting by selecting a particular area like this let's start from here then select from here so as you can see we have the feathering already so all we have to do is go to filter blur then Gaussian blur then if you take a look at what we are seeing here it's like this 10 is not enough for this then we're going to start from zero again to move it to a point whereby we see that this area is being smoothened and will be okay for our frequency separation like if you take it up you notice that it's becoming something else is producing something like whitish and uh, haze around it but you have to bring it down to a point whereby it's going to be okay and it's going to be shiny so i think like 20 there about should be okay let's take it up a bit so i think like this is okay let's hit okay for 18. The reason why we are sharing this fast way is for you to know the shortcut. If you take a look at the top here, notice we have Gaussian Blur here. The reason why we have it here is that Gaussian Blur has been recorded. It has been recorded because it has a particular blur radius that has been used previously. That was the last, uh, the last Gaussian Blur we did. We are going to choose a particular spot again like this. We are going to select like this. We are going to be using shortcut, which is going to be Ctrl or F. This control or F is going to paste that particular filter, that particular Gaussian blur that we saw up there. So we have it here, it's working. So we have to use our control D to deselect. Then we'll select another area on that part like this. 
and we are going to, still going to be using our control alt f and you are going to see the magic happen there so let's use control d to deselect then we'll pick another area like this let's say like this so we are still going to use control alt f to paste the filter then we we'll use our control d to deselect then do the same thing to the top of the nose like this let's say like this then we use ctrl alt f to paste that the same feature then use ctrl d to deselect then we'll continue capture this part of the nose then use ctrl alt f then we'll use ctrl d to deselect then we can just handle any part but you have to avoid somewhere like this line under the nose let's continue use ctrl alt f to paste the filter then use ctrl d to deselect let's select from here you can do it like this then use ctrl alt f we are seeing the effect there then use our ctrl d to deselect then we we'll select this area and something like this use ctrl alt f to paste the filter let's use ctrl d to deselect you can also disable this detail layer you'll be seeing it like this so we can continue with this we can go like this and select this area then use ctrl alt f you see the filter it has been pasted there then you deselect then you make sure you select any area that you need to be that you need to blow so we have to select this area like this and do the same thing ctrl alt f so use ctrl d to deselect then under this area we have to select this area then use ctrl alt f then use ctrl d to deselect let's put on the detail layers because i like putting it on while doing my frequency separation like as you can see this area has not been done so we have to select this area like this then let's do the forehead stay away from any any brilliant color okay let's use our control alt f then the filter has been pasted use control d to deselect then take the remaining part here and do the same thing control alt f then use control d to deselect and use this other take this other side and then use ctrl alt f then use your ctrl d to deselect so if you check this face it's like the entire face has been okay let's check the this area let's check this area so we have to select like this and do this area like this then use ctrl alt f to paste the filter use ctrl d to deselect then this area use ctrl alt f then use ctrl d to deselect then ctrl alt f then use ctrl d to deselect then taking a look at the face area i believe we are true with the face then you can also come to the body part then let's start from here let's select from here and do something like this here then use ctrl alt f to place it then use ctrl d to deselect do the same thing here ctrl alt f then use ctrl d to deselect you can just keep on doing that ctrl alt f use ctrl d to deselect let's select this area and you can see the magic happen so ctrl alt f is going to do the magic then ctrl d to deselect then let's take this full area as you can see if you are using ctrl alt f so if you are using if you are doing frequency separation and you are using Mr. brush it will also work but Mr. brush is the kind of time consuming and you need to be professional so let's go use ctrl d to deselect so let's go here and do the same thing ctrl alt f then use your ctrl d to deselect do the small area 
Control Alt F, Control D to the select. I think this finger is bold enough. Then Control Alt F, then use Control D to the select. Then do the same thing to this finger. Control Alt F, then use Control D to the select. Then for the last place we are going to use control alt f and use control d to be select then taking a look at this image it has been smoothened let's see the before and after the frequency separation this is before and this is after let's take a close look so this is before and this is after this is before and this is after isn't that amazing we are going to be adding some effects on this image like dodging and burning and all that so let's start from the top of this layer let's go to the adjustment layer and choose curves then we can bring we can bring the shadows down we can bring the shadows down we'll click on layer marks and use ctrl i to invert so we'll pick up our brush tool and go in there to brush around the dark areas so we can increase our brush we can increase our brush with close brackets then reduce our brush with open brackets so we can reduce the opacity and the flow like up to depending on how what you can handle i think like 13 is okay for flow for opacity and 13 for flow then let's increase our brush and start clicking on the dark areas before you start clicking, don't forget to check your foreground and your background. Your background should be white and your foreground should be black to reveal what is underneath. So we can go ahead and click. Let's zoom in more. Reduce the brush size and continue. So we got to check if there is any change here. Let's see the before and after. This is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. You can see the change around this area. Let's continue. Then we can also do this other part of the nose. But most times you have to consider your light direction before you paint. But sometimes we do some painting we do some dodging and burning without thinking about the light direction so let's just continue for tutorial sake let's just go ahead and dodge and burn this image let's increase the brush size and dodge this burn this area so we are also going to burn under this lip this shadow area that was created here from the light direction increase the brush and burn this area also i guess we all know that this is a bonus tip because we've done with the frequency separation the fast frequency separation you know like it does not really take us that much time to finish its frequency separation that was why i said frequency separation the fastest method so let's go ahead with the dodging and burning is a bonus tip let's just go and so we have to burn this area also then we have to dodge some parts of the areas Let's go to adjustment layer and go to curves. Then take the highlights up. Click on the layer marks and use our control I to invert it. Then let's zoom in and reduce our brush size. Then we can start dodging. So I'm going to to improve the highlights with the dodging. So with this dodging tool, I can, with this brush now, I can create a, I can create a strong highlight on the nose to, to erect the nose. So I can increase the brush size and dab it for some while. Then 
this other side i can blend the transition a little so we can notice that the nose is standing up right now so let's go to the this area is already shiny already so we don't need to apply that much then we can see drop something here i think that should be okay the lips the lips are shining already there's no need to add too much shine to the lip we are done with the face but we can see go ahead and dodge and burn this the the body part but for the now for the sake of time let's not do that we can add shine to this image to make it more brilliant we can add shine by going to the adjustment layer again and choose we can choose curves also then pick up the highlights we are not going to invert this yet then we're going to double click here to bring out layer style boss then this dark angle of this underlying layer we have to push it forward to select those highlights out like so so we have them selected those highlights now then we can hold our alt and click on the angle to split it apart then we'll push it forward to create a smoother transition so as you can see we can hit ok for this then now we can now go to the layer max and use ctrl i to invert the layer max then you can pick your brush to make sure your foreground color is white and background color is black then this time around we are going to increase our flow and increase our opacity so that we are going to paint it and it's going to be coming out fast so we can increase the brush size and paint on those area to make them shiny Then you can see, check this area, and since the area is still having some shines, so I think we are done with adding shine. Then you can see, go to the you can see, go to the eyes and teeth to clean them up to make them whiter. Then we can go to the adjustment layer again and choose hue and saturation this time. Then we'll click on this master for the drop down to choose red. Then we are going to reduce the saturation down to about 80 minus 80 or minus 81 should be okay then increase the lightness to let's say think like 50 or 60 should be okay let's say 60 should be okay then we'll go to the drop down again and choose yellow then we can change this stuff to minus minus 80 then this other guy to 60 then hit ok then we can select the layer marks use our ctrl i to invert layer marks pick our brush to make sure the foreground color is white and the background color is black and can reduce the brush size and start painting on the eyes and the teeth so let's zoom in for the teeth reduce the brush size and clean up the teeth so when cleaning the teeth make sure you don't clean the gums don't clean the gums those areas are supposed to be red-ish so if you clean them up it's going to be looking artificial so if you want it to look natural you have to avoid those areas so you have to clean it like this selectively so I think we are doing a nice and great job here So this is it. So I'm going to be leaving this image down in the description for practice. You can go there and pick up the image and you can try follow up with the tutorial. It's available. So if there is anything, anything else they can do to this image, I think it should be on personal preference. I think we are done with this image. So this is the simple and fast method for frequency separation. So if you find it interesting, helpful, and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped, the area it has not, and the area we need to improve on. Like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not just hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video. Creative pool, keep on creating. Please keep on creating. See you in the next one. Bye for now.